Good morning everyone and uh, welcome to the third part of our tutorial. Today we will make a simple fix to the animation we did last week. Uh, basically what happens inside the VR chat is that our character constantly moves forward uh, which does not really fit our finger animation movement. As you can see when it's moving forward it's sliding, it's moving very slow and sliding. So we are going to minimize the amount of uh, the slide that's added to the movement and speed up the animation a bit to make it fit, fit the avatar a bit more. So without a further ado let's go into the blender and see what can be done. What we have to do inside our project is add one more bone that will control both mesh and entire rig. Let's select our rig, pre press tab to enter the edit mode, shift A to add another bone, scale it a bit using S and move it somewhere over here. Now another step will be to join these two bones with this one. Select first bone, shift click the other one, control P and keep offset. This will add the, this bone to the hierarchy as a parent of this one without uh, physically attaching them to each other like it's happening over here for for instance. Now let's do the same with this bone and Control p keep offset. One thing to keep in mind is that we want to select entire bone not just the ending node but the, by pressing the middle of the bone we'll select entire it in its entirely so that's what we are going to do and hopefully you've managed to do it as well. Now what does this bone gives us. Let's go to a pause mode and start moving this bone around. As we see it's enabling us to move entire character whenever, wherever we want. Let's see our animation now and even when it's playing. So uh, what's happening inside VRChat is that our character is moving and cut at constant speed no matter what the animation is doing. What we would like to have is our bone, uh, our finger stands in one spot when it's reaching forward and move only when it's pulling to itself. Let's see. Testing, move me, moving and again and again. It, will, it would be difficult to do this inside VRChat mostly because it would require a lot of experiments. Uh, we are going to do it a bit simpler and not as it won't be as perfect as it could but it's the promise of this tutorial is that they are going to be as simple as possible uh, so we are going to make to animate this bone by moving it a bit here and then forward this way it will counteract the forward movement of the vr chat sliding in the moment when it should stand, stand still so when our finger should stand still, it will move backwards to counteract the forward movement of the VR chat. The root bone is going to be animated in three frames at the beginning, at the end, and in the middle. Let's go to the beginning of the animation, set up the position of our root bone to minus 0.25, press I to make it a keyframe, go to the 20 frame, set it to 0, so it's going to be in our default position, and at the last frame we will want it to be back to the minus 0.25 and I. So what, this, what does it do? It makes the entire finger move forward and backward. As I said before, the idea is that we'll move, it will move backwards when it should stand still, still inside the VR chat. So this will cause, cause it to counteract the forward movement and make it look somewhat as if it was standing. It won't be perfect. We would have to experiment a lot to set the values right. Who's had, who has the time for that? So, so we go with this now. The entire exporting process is identical as we did in the previous movies, so I'm going to Unity and just show you one more step before you can actually export the movie. 
So see you in Unity. Entire exporting and importing process is just the same like it was a week ago. So we've, uh, I am not showing it it's because it would only take a time. Now what we are going to do, the last difference between what we did last week and this week is the speed of animation. Let's select our finger, let's go into the avatar controller, double click, into the animation layer and to the blend tree. By default the speed of animation should be 1, 1, 1, 1 and minus 1 at the backward move. Uh, it leaves a lot of field to experimentation and setting the values right. For now I'm selecting 3 and minus 3, which means the finger will move 3 times faster in any direction we will move it. And that should be it. Now we can export it into the VR chat and play with our finger. And here we are in the VR chat. We can see that our finger is moving so much faster even in the preview. Let's select this avatar and go forward. Let's see. You, we can see that our finger moves so much better now. Basically only pulls up when it should when it should. And the speed makes it moving so much makes the movement look so much better mostly because uh, it's fit much more fitting to the scale of the object. So I hope you liked it, uh, leave a comment below, like and subscribe and see you in the next movie when I will probably try to show how to make a custom skin for this finger, so basic UV mapping and some texture painting. See y'all!